Hey everybody, it's me, and in this video, I want to talk to you about the differences between cloud computing and on-premises computing. So let's first start out with what is cloud computing and what is on-premises computing. So on-premises computing is where you actually have your own hardware that lives within your own data center or within your own facilities, and you manage all of that infrastructure yourself. Now, when we talk about cloud computing, the cloud provider like a Microsoft and AWS and Google, they have their own data centers. They have their own massive global infrastructure that they've built out and you as a customer don't actually have to manage any of that infrastructure. Instead, you simply consume the services that they offer and you pay for those services as you go. So very different model versus on-premises where you're actually purchasing your own hardware. You're managing it, you're maintaining it, you're updating it. With cloud, you don't have to do any of that. And so let's dive into some of the differences between cloud and on-premises. Let's talk about infrastructure. So obviously, if you're going on premises, you have to build out your own data center. You have to have your own physical location that can house that data center. You have to have your own power, own cooling, own networking. You have to have all of these things in order to run your workloads. Whereas in the cloud, you don't have to worry about any of that because again, you're just consuming the services. The cloud provider has already built out all of this infrastructure. It's already running and you're simply consuming it. Let's talk about cost. So typically when you're doing on-premises, you have a very large upfront cost because you're buying your own hardware. Sometimes you might even have to buy your own software licenses. Obviously, you have your own IT staff that you have to pay for, and you have to pay for all of this infrastructure that you're building out. With cloud, you're not having those large upfront costs. You might have some, but typically they're much smaller than they are on-premises because again, you're not having to build anything out. You're simply consuming services. You're paying a monthly fee. You're paying a usage fee, but you don't have those large capital expenditures that you typically would have on premises. Let's talk about scalability. So again, when you're on premises, you have your hardware, you have your fixed amount of capacity, and if you need more capacity, you have to go out and buy additional hardware. And that is a big project. That's a lot of money, a lot of time and effort that goes into that process. In the cloud, it's much easier to scale up or scale down depending on your needs. Because again, you're just consuming services. You can simply provision additional services or deprovision services, and you can do that very, very quickly. It's a lot easier and again, a lot less expensive when you're doing that in the cloud as opposed to on-premises. Let's talk about maintenance. So when you're running your own infrastructure on-premises, obviously you have to do a lot of the maintenance yourself. You have to patch things, you have to update things, you have to apply security updates, and you have to have your IT staff do all of this work. In the cloud, the cloud provider is doing all of that work for you. They have their own engineers that are applying patches, that are making sure things are updated and secure. So you don't have to worry about that as a customer. Let's talk about accessibility. So again, when you're on premises, your IT staff, that's the only way that they can access the applications and the data that you have. There's no remote access capabilities. Typically when you're in the cloud, cloud providers actually allow you to have remote access. So you can actually access your applications and your data from anywhere in the world. All you need is an internet connection and you can actually access all of your stuff. And let's talk about control. So when you're on premises, you have complete control over your environment. If you wanna run your applications a certain way, you can do that. If you want to run them on a certain version of software, you can do that. You have complete control over that environment. In the cloud, you typically don't have as much control. The cloud provider is going to provide you services in a certain way, and you can take those services and you can run your applications on those services, but you don't have as much control over the underlying infrastructure. Let's talk about security. So many people think that, oh, if I'm going to the cloud, my data isn't secure, it's not private. And that's not the case at all. In fact, when you're in the cloud, you actually have better security because the cloud providers have thousands, in some cases, millions of dollars that they're spending every single year on security. They have security experts that are working for them. They have the latest technology that's being used to protect your data. So in most cases, your data is actually more secure in the cloud than it is on premises. The last thing that I want to talk about is disaster recovery. So again, on premises, if something were to happen, maybe there's a fire, there's a flood, there's some sort of disaster. If that happens, you're probably gonna lose your data. As a cloud customer, you don't have to worry about that. 
because the cloud provider is backing up your data. They're replicating your data. They're storing your data in multiple locations. So even if there is a disaster, you're gonna be able to recover your data. All right, so those are some of the main differences between cloud and on-premises. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I'll catch you on the next one.